Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. So I'm in the tomato plot, right? Many of you um, would know this plot. So I walk into this plot, I'm moving around and bam! Look at the, the leaves, the younger growing points of the plant. The young leaves, look at them. They are showing yellowing as if to say the leaves are suffering from uh, nutrient deficiency. But is it really nutrient deficiency? How do we know that it's nutrient deficiency? Now I've moved about in this greenhouse already and as you can see in a distance it is fairly consistent. So uh, if it was like a disease problem or anything like that it would be more like more sporadic like here and there and so on right but with the nutrient deficiency you will find that it is more consistent uh, with all the plants uh, especially when the when the plants are growing in gravel and they are growing in uh, the same nutrient solution right so what is the first thing that we see here so we are seeing intervenal chlorosis and the chlorosis is happening on the younger growing points of the plant now what do we know about mobile and immobile nutrients we know that with mobile nutrients you will first see the deficiency symptom in the older leaves we also know that with immobile nutrient deficiency will first see the deficiency symptom in the younger growing points of the plant so we can safely say that um, this that we are seeing is a nutrient deficiency and it is caused from an, uh, an immobile nutrient right because remember immobile nutrients show symptoms first in the younger leaves so what how, how, how do we proceed now so now that we have eliminated uh, um, mobile nutrient and we know that it is an immobile nutrient causing the problem how do we know which immobile nutrient is causing this kind of nutrient deficiency symptom now you have to be familiar with um, the nutrient deficiencies first and you have to be familiar with the nutrients that are mobile and those that are immobile so what are the mobile nutrients the mobile nutrients are nitrogen phosphorus potassium um, magnesium molybdenum uh, what else is there um, chlorine right and what are the immobile nutrients the immobile nutrients are all the others so after you have identified the mobile and the immobile nutrients um how do you then know which one of those um immobile nutrient causes chlorosis that is what you have to think of now among those immobile nutrients iron and manganese uh causes chlorosis right and they also cause similar pattern of chlorosis they also cause intervenal chlorosis which we have here right so um there are other nutrient deficiency or there are other nutrients that show um chlorosis when they are um deficient as well such as uh nitrogen such as um magnesium but guess what those are basically mobile nutrients so you will first see the deficiency symptom in the older leaves so we have already eliminated eliminated those so what you are looking at it is it is either manganese or iron now how can you know now which one of them whether it is manganese or iron well one of the major difference differences between the intervenal chlorosis uh, with man with, with manganese and iron is that with iron you will see the the intervenal chlorosis starting from the opposite end of the the leaf tip so um, this is the leaf tip here and this is the this is basically the the um this is the the opposite end right so the chlorosis will start here right closer to the leaf petiole down at this section right so um that that is that is typical of iron deficiency with mag with manganese deficiency now you will it will more look like a magnesium deficiency 
right? Um, but then now, remember that remember that um, magnesium deficiency starts on the the, the the older leaves, right? So this is basically one of the main um, telltale symptoms that it is to differentiate between manganese and iron. As I said, iron will show intervenal chlorosis at the opposite end of the leaf tip so at the right at this section not at this section here right whilst uh whilst when you look at manganese manganese will give you intervenal chlorosis on, on all the leaf and not really starting at the opposite end of the leaf tip you understand what i mean i hope you are understanding so right now we are having an iron deficiency and what i should also tell you too is that um uh, when it progresses iron deficiency will give you a more like a more bleached look the leaf will get very 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 pale yellow right and before you even go ahead and um you know start applying um nutrient solution to fix this problem you have to first find out if iron is actually lacking within the nutrient solution that you are feeding right because you don't want to have high and available in the nutrient solution and go ahead and adding more this can create toxicity and it can burn the plants right so you have to first find out if 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 um iron is there but the plant is just not taking it up because that can be up the, the problem here it can be that the the plant is not taking up the iron from the 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 the, the, the solution right um, and this can be you know because of a number of reasons it can be because the pH might be out of range right you know that we want to maintain a range between 5 and 5 and 7 um, well in the hydroponic system right we can we can we can have a range of 5 and 5 to 6 point5 right if it is out of that range whether lower or higher then you know that it can um, reduce uh the amount of iron available for for plant uptake right or it can also mean that um the iron is just not there in the solution for the plant to take up hence it's showing deficiency so you have to you, you have to find out what is happening you have to basically test the ph of the solution so what i would recommend is when you have your your stock solution mixing um, being ratioed properly mixing with water and, and nutrients and it is and it comes into the, the, the canal here catch some in a bottle and test the pH of that to find out if the pH that is actually um, going to the root zone of a plant is actually within a good range and so you want to check on these things you don't want to just go and just be dumping iron into the in, into your into your mixture and, and causing any further issues so as i said this is iron deficiency and um you know based on your 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 investigation if it needs iron you just basically add some more soluble iron liquid um iron chili in your in your um stock tanks uh and so on if you are if you're an outdoor farmer if you're an outdoor farmer you basically can just you know buy some um, uh, iron fertilizer, iron chelate and you know mix it in water based on the recommended rate and you can do a foliar spray and within a couple of days like within maybe four days you'll start see start seeing um, changes on your plants and so on so uh, yeah and then you, you can basically um, add granular fertilizer if you are outdoor as well but one thing with the granular fertilizer it basically takes a longer time for the plant to actually take it up and and to correct any deficiency symptom the the liquid is much faster than the than the granular right because the liquid is already in liquid form the granular has to be dissolved and that is dependent on the water regime that you're under so um yeah if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments here and please remember to subscribe to my channel Bye-bye.